G'day legends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Gilchrist and today we're gonna to be talking about tire tubes. So I've been lucky enough to get my hands on one of these Pirelli smart tubes really early on. So big thanks and big shout out to FE Sports for making that happen and Pirelli of course for setting this up. So one thing I need to say before we get into this video is that I am a sponsored athlete for Pirelli. They did send me this. They're not paying me to do this and this is kind of like my general thoughts on smart tubes or I guess they're kind of like coining that name. Just these really small tubes that replace the big bulky ones. Let's first of all have a look at the box and see what comes in it. It's claiming it is 95 grams. So off the bat, that's pretty light for a tube. Coming in a pretty cool looking box, we'll rip it open. And that's what you get right there. That's our smart tube. Bam, there we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. First of all, I think I need to give a little bit of a defense for these tubes because not many people understand what their purpose is. Right here, we have a normal tire tube, a kind of standard tire tube. This is actually probably a pretty strong one, but that's a standard tire tube. First thing you're gonna notice is that this one is gigantic, it's so big. Again, another question is, what's to go with tubes? We're past tubes, we're into tubeless now. That is perfectly perfectly true. Front wheel on mine is tubeless. The back one has one of these in it just for testing. But what we don't account for is those days when you're out on the trail, you're shredding it hard, and then the inevitable happens and you get a flat tire. Nobody's immune to flat tires. The best riders in the world get flat tires. You have all kinds of different solutions. You could run inserts, you could run heavier tires, but at the end of the day, if you slash your tire, there's nothing that can really bring it back. So what you could fall back to then is tubes. What these tubes do is make it as efficient as possible in your transition from having a flat tire to getting back up and going in your race. So what Pirelli is aiming to do and what a whole bunch of other brands that make these tubes are trying to do is make these as compact as possible so they fit onto the nooks and crannies of your bikes. They sit in there, they hide in there dormant until the day where you finally need them and they're ready to go. That's what the go is with these tiny tubes and that's what Pirelli is all about here. First of all, durability. The idea of these tubes is first and foremost to get you out of trouble in a race day, but you still want to get it to the bottom of the hill without it breaking. And if you go too light and too small, your tire is going to fall apart. What this one does is Pirelli is trying to thread that fine line between weight and strength. And what they're doing is they're avoiding latex and butyl tubes and going for their own special formula of tube material and they're claiming that it's stronger than all the other brands. I cannot personally tell you whether it's stronger than all the other brands because I've only really tried this one out. But that being said, it's been in the back wheel of that bike and I'm gonna put up some clips of what that tire has handled. It has been copping absolute abuse. And I think if there was anything that would be able to make it flat, I've probably tried it already. So uh, it gets a tick on the durability front. Now, on the other side, you've got uh, weight. You wanna be having these things as light as possible so that you can strap it on your bike and you don't have any difference. It, it's lightweight, it's 95 grams, the thing's absolutely tiny. And when you're putting it on an enduro bike, especially an enduro, the weight isn't the biggest deal breaker in the world. And if you're looking for a mixture between durability and weight, the Pirelli's got you. And now we talk about the last one, size. Now. When you're talking about the size of the tube, it is kind of important because when you're strapping it on your bike, it can get really awkward if you have a big tube. Imagine trying to strap this on your bike somewhere. I did it for years. Oh, had a little spill out there. But I tried to strap one of these on for my bike for years before I discovered these things. And it was a pain, like these things are gigantic. The nice thing about these tubes is because they're so small, you can fit them on your bike easier, but you can also fit them into all those little nooks and crannies that are hidden on your bike. My GT Force has this triangle hidden under the uh, top tube. And in there, you're able to chuck this and probably some tire levers. A fourth and final point you gotta consider with these things, just like you consider with every single product you buy, price, how much does it cost? And are you getting what you deserve for that product? All right, so these things cost 50 bucks. $50 is a lot to pay for a tube. A lot of people don't have a problem with paying for products like this. You see bikes comprised entirely of the most expensive, luxurious products. Look at this bike behind me. It is designed purely so that it can be as fast as possible and because of that, the cost skyrockets. What it comes down to is whether you're willing to spend top dollar to make your bike as good as possible because if you're willing to spend a lot of money, this tube's perfect for you. If you're looking for a budget tube, I would probably look somewhere else, but that always comes with the drawbacks of being less durable and potentially heavier. So what do you think? What do you think of the Pirelli Smart Tube? What's the go? Do you reckon you're gonna cop it or do you reckon you're gonna try and get a different one? 
let me know in the comments. I want to hear the discussion. Um, thanks again so much to Pirelli and to Epi Sports for making this happen. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, legends. See you later.